Gotten the ball out of his hands fairly quickly. They set up the screen, tight end screen, and Wake Forest snipped it out pretty well. Bassey held his ground. Clark, a transfer from Pitt, hauls it in. Certainly looks like a number 10 from the past couple of years and the numbers that John Wolford put up. Now taking a shot deep, looking for Allen Bassey with the coverage, and he makes the over-the-shoulder pick. A saying Bassey with the interception, and we're squared away a turnover apiece. It's a lot of things at, at Towson's disposal right now on third down. Backpedaling. Drag pattern. Allen makes the catch. Bassey tackles him immediately, and this will all be depending on the spot. The week of preparation, like when those types of things are changing, and how do you stay focused for game day? Ball is loose. Wake picks it up. Down the sideline. It's a touchdown. He's saying Bassey. The first defensive score of the season for Wake Forest. Number 93, Zeke Rodney came through, and I want to say he got a hand or his elbow hit the football. Hadn't had to do much so far. He's been a good manager, but if they get down in a game, I'm wondering, do they have any offensive firepower in the passing game to come back? Molly Rogers takes a hit, stays on his feet, and down he goes around the 21. Taking the, the unique aspect of formations and tempo and put that to defenses for them to have to handle. Number two, but stalled around the 45. And there goes pass to the ground. Wake Forest struggled to get to On the left side. And Boom, it just didn't see him coming until the last second. Look at the size. Well, you know, and, and one thing that we haven't mentioned, they're out with a, without Boogie Basham. Here is Strickland, and he'll be taken down a line behind, a yard behind.